Treatment can be super overwhelming and it's really, really difficult to figure out where to start. So I'm Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, I'm Long Island's eating disorder specialist. I post on this channel all about eating disorders, body image issues, and general mental health. So if any of that interests you, please click the subscribe button down below. Also, if you found this video helpful or informative at the end, I would greatly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. In this video today, I'm going to talk about the people that should be on your treatment team. Treatment can be super overwhelming and it's really, really difficult to figure out where to start. So I'm going to help you through that and as well as let you know what professionals would be ideal for you to have on your treatment team. Before I get on into the topic of this video, I really would encourage you to seek out my free recovery starter kit. You can get your hands on that by subscribing to my email list using the link in the description below. I believe it'll be a really useful and helpful tool for you, whether you're at the beginning of your recovery journey or you're looking for something to just jumpstart or reinvigorate your current recovery. First and foremost, what I'm going to say is the first person that should be on your treatment team is an eating disorder therapist. Yes, I may be biased, but I truly believe that this is the first step that you should take. It's super important to make sure that you're finding someone who specializes in the treatment of eating disorders. And if you really want to learn more about why and how to find the proper help, use the link in the cards to see my video all about that. So a therapist, really their role in the treatment team is to help identify problematic behaviors, maybe core beliefs that you have, which is really perpetuating your eating disorder. They're going to be the ones that work on your thoughts, behaviors, emotions, and beliefs. So that's their role, and that's really just putting it in a very simplistic term. But anything that has to do with the, the mindset and mind um, and the mental health side of things, that is going to be the therapist's role. When someone walks into my office for the first time who is looking for help with an eating disorder, the next professional that I would recommend that they see immediately is a physician. And the reason why I say the therapist first and physician second isn't because we need we don't need to address the medical stuff first and foremost, we absolutely do. But I really believe that it's very powerful to have a collaboration between a therapist who works with eating disorders and the doctors. Unfortunately, there still seems to be a lack of proper education with eating disorders in the medical world. And I'm not saying that all doctors don't know what they're talking about. That's absolutely not what I'm trying to say. And I really do respect doctors. Um, but I think that sometimes having that also that collaboration between an eating disorder therapist and a doctor can be really helpful helpful in just maybe having the doctor be able to be a little bit more sensitive to the issue. So they might go with things typically in their day-to-day -day, um, actions that is just typical for them, which could be really harmful for a person who's struggling with an eating disorder. For the biggest example is BMI. Um, a lot of times the medical model is based on BMI, but talking about the BMI with a client who has an eating disorder um, is not going to be helpful and it's going to be detrimental. So that collaboration is really, really key, which is why I say therapist first and doctor second so that they can collaborate and really hopefully the doctor is open to hearing some ideas about how to be sensitive to a client who has an eating disorder um, and really also is knowing what how severe the eating disorder behaviors are that the therapist can communicate to them because sometimes when you are in front of a doctor you may not um, be fully transparent about all your behaviors and unfortunately that's usually just a behavior in the eating disorder. Hey everyone, editing me here. I don't think that I made this clear, so I wanted to just jump in here and let you know that your medical soundness and stability is most important. So if there's any risk that you feel in any way that there's a medical issue at bay, then I would encourage you 100% go to the doctors first. This is really addressing when we're talking about your assembling your treatment team, and this is a team that's going to be with you regularly throughout your recovery. Another person that really should be on your treatment team is a nutritionist. That is another professional that I would recommend. A nutritionist, again, I would recommend that you find someone who works with eating disorders. I find it very difficult to do that as well. Thankfully, I have built a very great um, professional network with a lot of um, nutritionists that I know who do work with eating disorders. So I'm very grateful for that. That Another reason why I think it's helpful to find a therapist first is because then that therapist likely will, ha will have 
connections with nutritionists that they could recommend that most likely would be very fitting for you as a client. What a nutritionist role would be is really everything to do with the food. I believe it's super helpful to have a nutritionist challenge food labeling, food rules, food behaviors, and just faulty beliefs around food. Unfortunately, in our culture and our diet culture that we live in, there's a lot of misinformation around food and there's a lot of food rules and food fears that develop as a result. And when you are with a nutritionist who can scientifically disprove that and really help you through that, it's super powerful. So I, I do believe that sometimes the therapist and the nutritionist, their roles somewhat overlap in some certain ways uh, because obviously the, the therapist might be dealing with the food rules and the behavior side, um, but the nutritionist would be dealing with food fears, which is, you know, also food and the mental health side, which again is really important. It's so important that professionals are collaborating on your treatment team so that everyone knows what everyone else is doing and how to best help that client. Another professional that may or may not be on your treatment team is a psychiatrist or nurse practitioner. So I done actually a whole video about medication and my beliefs on medication. Um, I do believe that there is a role for it and it could be super helpful, but I do recommend um, that my clients, for instance, it, I always ask at the beginning of our time together what their beliefs are on medication so that I know whether or not that could be a potential recommendation in the future if I feel as though our talk therapy is not enough for them. Again, I did a whole video on it. I'll link it in the cards. I'd really recommend to check it out if you are kind of not knowing where to begin. And again, why it's so important to start with a therapist is because sometimes um, you might start with a psychiatrist and feel better as a result of the medication that you're being prescribed. But then if you get off the medication, you probably would feel the same way as you did prior to the medication. So medication is a tool that can be used in conjunction with talk therapy, but talk therapy is what actually gets to the root of the issues and really helps it from the bottom up. You may or may not have a gastroenterologist on your treatment team as well. This is particularly the case if you've struggled with any type of purging behaviors and especially if you've been purging for a long duration of time or your behaviors are very severe. Unfortunately, very um, actually very soon, very shortly after engaging in purging behaviors, it could really affect your gastrointestinal system, which is why it's so important in that point to have a gastroenterologist on your treatment team. Another person that might be a helpful conjunction with eating disorder treatment, and I would suggest for sure um, to help with accountability, is an eating disorder recovery coach. Um, so I don't think that it's absolutely imperative, but I do think that when you have someone who's trained who can help you alongside you to just kind of help with the behaviors um, in an actual like real life circumstance. So an eating disorder recovery coach, what they, they're not therapists, it's important to disting, distinguish between the two. Um, unless they are a therapist and they just offer coaching services also. But most of the time they're not therapists, but they do have a lot of background with eating disorders and they can help, let's say, um, sit with you through a meal, maybe help some things that are popping up for you, maybe help grocery shop with you if that's a, a problem for you or a hard thing for you. So they also have a role that could, could potentially be helpful for you. Now, separate of professionals that should be on your treatment team, it's super important for you to identify your support network, whether that's friends, whether that's family, whether that's other professionals that maybe you uh, are close with. If you're a student, maybe that's a teacher or a school therapist or such like that. But most importantly, above all, you. You are such an important component and the most component of your own treatment. And we can all help you as professionals, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's going to be you. And it's not something to be given to you in fear, but to help empower you because you can do it. And we're just here to help guide you and give you the tools to allow that to happen. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about a treatment team, how to begin, where to go from here, absolutely leave them in the comments down below. If you're interested in pursuing therapy with me, you can absolutely reach out to me as well and I'd be more than happy to discuss how we could work on that. You could click my face in the corner of the screen to subscribe to my channel and I wish you recovery on your journey to finding your state of balance and I will see you in my next video.